Let's create a basic mail merge using Excel 2013 and Word. Begin with Excel, we type in some first and last names, Joe Smith, Karen Lee, Anderson Da Silva, Frank Stephenson, or Stevenson. Let's go File, Save As, we're going to call this names.xls. X. We go to Word now, and we're going to say Dear, and what I want to do is Dear first name, you've just won a last name, a uh, million dollars. So let's say Dear, and we're going to go to Mailings, select Recipients, use an existing list. The existing list is Excel. So I'm going to go to my desktop and look for the letter N, which has names.xls, and where is all the information is on sheet 1 and first row of data contains column headers, yes indeed, first and last, okay. So once we've done this, you go to insert merge field, and I'm going to insert the first name, dear first space last, dear that person, comma, you've just won a billion dollars, just reply to this letter with your bank account information and we'll deposit it for you. Smiley face or how about a wink, a little wink there. So the idea of mail merge is to save time. You type up a huge list of names from Excel and you can simply print to the printer and mail them all out. If you want to preview this, this is optional, you can click on this little uh, magnifying glass. You can see it says Dear Joe Smith, next, Dear Karen Lee, next, Anderson Da Silva, and so on, no matter how long your list is. When you click on Finish and Merge, Print Documents, and this is where you print it all. Click on OK, and this is where you choose uh, print to a certain printer, or you can even print to PDF if you have some kind of uh, PDF driver installed. So this is a basic mail merge. Congratulations.